need to love, but it's hard when you're young. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chinchilla Notebook here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today's video, I decided, okay, um, so I have not uploaded for about two weeks now, and I just want to say that I am back to uploading, and I just wanted to ask you guys if you noticed a little bit of a difference. I am now filming with a brand new camera. I just bought one. It was really expensive. And I'm still learning to use it, but I can actually focus with this camera. So, whoa, okay. Super weird because it's a lot high tech than my, a lot more high tech than my other camera. So, just please excuse me if the lighting is weird or if the, the focusing, look how messy it is underneath this cage. If the focusing is a little bit bad because I'm still getting used to it, it's a little bit weird. So, anyway, just excuse that, but I hope that the audio is better, the um, pixel quality is better. What are you doing? You're so cute. Is it in focus? Okay. Anyway, so yeah, today's video is just going to be on what you need to get before getting a chinchilla. And I just wanted to do this video because so many people had questions. I think I filmed something like this in the past, but I just really wanted to redo that video and kind of make a better version of that. And I also quickly wanted to mention that I'm going to be doing a Q&A online on Instagram soon. I was going to do this on YouTube, but I decided that since the Instagram stories allow you to put a little ask a question thing, I don't really know what those are called, but since I do that, I'm going to be doing a Q&A on there. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to ask me a question, I always leave the Instagram in the description box um, as well as on my channel art and right now on the screen so you can go check that out and I'm going to be doing this right after I upload this video so as soon as you see it go check out my Instagram and ask me a question I will be uploading the answers for you to see what I replied to so yeah just quickly wanted to mention that let's just get into what you're going to need when you get your chinchilla first thing I'm going to start with is the most obvious which is a cage and looking in it right now it is super empty because I just took everything out of his cage so that I could do this video and um, all of it is in a different room, which I'm going to be showing you all that kind of stuff. But first, I'm just going to start with the cage. Merlin has the Critter Nation Model 162, and I can actually focus this time. Um, yep, there you go. You can finally see the dimensions here in the corner. Yes, finally you can see them. It took forever to do that. Now, I'm sorry if you can hear me focusing too. Like that little sound that you just heard. Yeah, that's me focusing. This is where they're going to be... I was about to say eating. This is where they're going to be living, so it needs to be very big and spacious and also easy for you to access and clean. And it needs to be at least five feet tall. I still get questions from people asking me what the cage should look like, and they send me pictures or, you know, like a link to a cage, which is really small. Guys, just make sure the dimensions is saying five feet tall, two feet wide, but like three feet across, if that makes any sense. But basically, it just needs to be a big cage. And this is, the Critter or Ferret Nations are the cages I recommend for chinchillas. They were built for chinchillas, basically. They're just so amazing for them. They're big enough. And again, I don't have anything in his cage right now because I took it all out for the video. But his cage, look how much space there is in there. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is bedding. Your chinchilla is going to need some sort of bedding. And I have a whole video on this so I will link down below. I'm probably going to link a ton of videos down below from what I mentioned in this one, in this video. But basically what I use for Merlin's bedding on top here is fleece up here with an absorbent layer in between. And then down there I use tile because it keeps him cool and there is no need for me to have fleece down there because he either pees in the very far corner or on the fleece. So you're going to need bedding and I'm not going to get into that because I have a whole video explaining bedding and it's just it's a long topic. So moving on to the next thing is a wheel. This is a just a DIY homemade wheel that my dad made me. There are good wheels called like chin chin spins, silver surfers. I don't really know. <laughs> There's a ton of names out there. I will link a video called uh, Good and Bad Chinchilla Wheels as well where I talk all about that kind of stuff. But basically your wheel needs to be 16 inches, at least 16 or 15 inches in diameter, which means across wide. And not all wheels will look like this. This is just the kind that my dad made. It has four holes on this side, four on the other side, so he can fit through that just fine. It is 16 inches in diameter because it really affects the chinchillas back when their wheels are too small. And I don't recommend any from the pet stores because they're either mesh, plastic, or too small. Whoa, not again. You're not coming out again. Next thing is ledges. So, as you can see, he has two ledges down here, a ledge up there, and one over there. 
I'm actually going to be placing an order, so I'm going to be posting a Chinchilla Cage store soon, and you guys will see all the different ledges I get from there. But basically, chinchillas need ledges in their cage. It's just a necessity. I consider it something of a high necessity because chinchillas are going to want to jump around a lot and run around their cage and ledges really allow them to do that. Alright guys, so moving on to other items. I'm first going to start with toys. Your chinchilla is definitely going to be needing toys in their cage. And I, as an example, just have these right now. Right now, he doesn't really have much in here. Chinchillas need toys that are going to really help their teeth stay in shape and also keep them interested. I have two videos on top five chinchilla toys that I recommend out there, and they're really good. So again, I'll link that down below. The next thing are huts, and over here I have three different kinds of huts, hideaways, whatever you want to call them. The first one is just this really, really large hut that I've talked about in several videos and I absolutely love. It's large, as you can see, there's plenty of room in there and Merlin can hide and be in his solitary space alone. And then there's also this hut that I actually made him and covered with fleece, it's like a tunnel thing. And then this hut is also from Petco and it's just this, more of like a flexible pineapple hideaway thing. By the way, I'm in my room, so please excuse if you see anything in the background. That's just my room. Hideaways are very important for chinchillas because it's the place where they go to get away from you or just to be alone, and you really want them to have that security inside their cage. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is a hay holder or something that you can put your hay in to hold. I'm going to be showing you here a hay sack and I made this one. It's going to need something to hold the hay up in his cage. You don't just want to be throwing it on his bedding. Either get a hay rack, which actually looks something like that. He chewed off a couple rungs there, but um, either get something like that, a hay rack, or a hay sack that you can make or buy online. Something to hold his food, like the pellets. And this is the one I have. It is a coop cup. You just attach it to the side of his cage, like there's this ring that goes around the cage, and you slide this inside of it. It doesn't have to be fancy or anything like this. You can just get him or your chinchilla a bowl, a ceramic bowl, if that's what you want, to hold their pellets. A water bottle, and chinchillas cannot drink out of bowls. It's very unnatural for them, and it's just not good. Some people tell me, I've actually heard people say, they're like, yeah, I have a bowl for my chinchilla, and they drink out of it just fine. Like, well, obviously, if you give them nothing but a bowl of water, they're going to get thirsty enough and drink from it because they have nothing else. They're going to be forced to drink out of it, but it's not natural and it's not good for them because it can get themselves wet. Next thing I'm going to be talking about is their food. So, up here, first of all, comes treats. Basically, treats, I've done a whole video on healthy chinchilla treats that you guys can watch. And I talk about all the treats that you can feed your chinchilla in that video. So I'll link that down below as well. Okay, this is just the food container that I have holding Merlin's food. And I also have a video on the proper chinchilla diet that I will link down below. This is the food he has. It's just the Oxbow chinchilla pellets. Down here is some hay. And chinchillas, 70% of their diet is hay. So hay is very important. But you're also going to need pellets. Get them good quality plain pellets. And then down here is their hay, his hay container. And I just got some hay in here. And then I already talked about this, um, about the fleece or the bedding, but I just thought I would show you. These are some of the liners that I have for Merlin. I have a couple fleece liners so that I switch them out when his cage gets dirty. But basically this is one of them and this is the other one. So you're just going to need bedding and like I said I have a whole video on that kind of stuff. Another thing you're going to need for your chinchilla is dust baths. For those of you who don't know, chinchillas cannot take baths in water. They need dust to bathe and you're going to need to get them some dust. So... Blue cloud dust is the best for them. Do not let them bathe in sand because sand is really rough on their fur and it doesn't clean it out like dust does. Ch chinchillas come from the Chile's, Andes, Mountain, that kind of area. And up there they have volcanic ash that they bathe in, so blue cloud dust is the one that replicates it the most. Last things I'm going to talk about is cleaning supplies. I know, it's the best part of all this video. I don't have a lot for cleaning because um, I just don't find a need for a lot of stuff, but basically... The first thing I have for, this is the deep cleaning when I clean his cage and his pan, pans out and like all the liners and everything. I use this Method Antibac All-Purpose Cleaner and it's more natural so it's better for using with animals. I'm not a person who's really into the natural kind of stuff but I really like this because it's not harsh when you're dealing with small pets, you know. They have sensitive respiratory systems and you don't want to be giving them harsh chemicals. Then we have our dear friend Clorox here. 
which is like literally the opposite of the method. This I use only on the pee spots or, you know, in intense places where there's a lot of grime and dust and dirt. And then along with this, I just use a rag. And then I clean out his water bottle with a little toothbrush because it cleans the nozzle really well and can get inside the little neck of the water bottle. Then I'm back in the laundry, but um, I also use this little brush, this brush and dustpan for daily cleaning or just sweeping up in his cage. Um, they just attach, and this is a fail, I cannot do this with one hand. But basically, yeah, this is a very, very important thing. I know some people just vacuum up their chinchilla cage every day, but I love having a dustpan and a broom because it makes cleaning so, so easy. Guys, so that is pretty much all that I have to show you. This is everything you're going to need when you get a chinchilla. And I just, like I said, thought I would do this video because some people are a little confused about everything. And these are just all the supplies that you're going to need. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in next week's video. And I really hope that you guys like the camera in this video. I know you can just hear me focusing all the time because I'm still getting so used to it. Because it's a humongous camera compared to my little digital one. Or the, the snap and shoot? No, point and shoot. This is like a nice big DSLR camera. Alright, well, Merlin says bye. <laughs>